Hello, I'm Sean Higgins, editor for Spar3D.com, the Spar3D newsletter. I'm here at IOMF 2018 in the Trimble booth. We're here to talk about the MX9 mobile mapping system. And as, as I understand, this is a pretty, a pretty big release for Trimble. It's been a while since you've updated the MX uh, platform. I mean, what can you tell me about this? What's special about it? Yeah, thanks, Sean. Yeah, absolutely. This is a pretty big release for us, especially in mobile mapping with our MX8 solution being pretty old at the time so we put that to end of life a while ago now we came up with this new mx9 mobile mapping solution pretty cool stuff pretty neat as you can see design wise it's it's small it looks cool but also it has something under the hood that's that's really awesome we have these two uh, super accurate high density lasers uh, 1 million points per second per laser so we get a super dense point cloud. It's very accurate. We have an, a Planix a GNSS IMU component that is, of course, super high end, um, and a spherical camera the, that is also getting great images. So, really cool new system that we are bringing to market. So what? If, if I'm looking around at mobile mapping systems, I mean, what's the what's the killer feature that draws me to this system instead of some of the others on the market? Yeah. So I would say the, the ease of use and the lightweight design, it's super easy to mount it on, on top of your car. It has this quick release function. So five to 10 minutes on the car, off you go. That's, that's really um, the, the, ki the killer feature. So to say tablet operation, so it's pure browser based. You sit there with your little touch screen rather than having a big clunky computer rack in the car. So this, this ease of use, and looking into the complete solution, that, that's really uh, the usability part of it that, that makes it a really cool system. So would it, would it be possible, say, for one person to pack this with them, say, fly somewhere, unpack it, uh, put it on top of a vehicle and perform a scan? I mean, is it, is it that small, that flexible? Is the ease of use that high? Um, it's almost one person. There are some things you would still want to have a second person, probably, because, I mean, 37 kilograms and 80 kilograms to roof rack. So that is a weight that, if you can, you can, you can carry it by yourself. You can ship it very easily, so that's, that's possible, but you probably still take a second person also as an operator. But actually, I would think that's a lot single op single person operation that, that will be going on because it just fire it up on your tablet and just switch, flick the tablet to the side and off you go. So that it is, in theory, you could just be one person. And I mean, before we move on from this, you know, what, what are the sorts of questions you're getting about it? And, you know, how are, how are people reacting to this as opposed to the MX-8, which, as you said, was kind of, yeah. kind of big and it had been on the market for a while? Yeah. Yeah, the, the first thing is actually that people say, oh, that's cool, that's sexy. It's this, this small design and actually looking good is, is, is a reaction we get, which is something, I mean, we are all professionals, so we shouldn't look too much into design. So it's, it's actually the fun part of it, right? And then if people look under the hood and, and look into the specs, they're really impressed that you can have such a small system with such a high accuracy and, and this kind of high fidelity data that you can generate from it. Really, the, the biggest thing about it is size and accuracy in one package. Yep, that together with a complete workflow, it's a, like a field-to-finish workflow, uh, fits into the, the Trimble ecosystem of, of software products. So it's not just the hardware that we are bringing out, we're really looking into the complete field-to-finish solution to actually get customers the opportunity to generate great data and, and deliver that data to their end customers.